Every year, when spring arrives in the Cairngorms, and most holiday skiers have disappeared from the hills, the time has come for future ski instructors to attend the Basie course, where they'll learn the rudiments of ski instruction. Though it may look all fun, and indeed there is some fun in it, there's a great deal more than just learning to turn a pair of skis. The future ski instructor has to learn to demonstrate, communicate, correct faults, and analyze the movements of his pupils, and have a very good knowledge of snow, mountains, weather, and first aid. All these skills he'll learn in the next two weeks, and when he passes a qualifying exam at the end, he'll have worldwide acceptance as a ski instructor. Here are future ski instructors on the first of their three days of teaching practice with their trainers. During this period, they'll have to teach every part of the syllabus while the trainers guide and correct them on the best approach to a group of pupils, how to position them, how to organize them, and how to keep their interest and ensure they form a happy and progressing ski class. The trainers will run through the syllabus which is contained in the British Ski Technique and Instruction Manual. The four basic manoeuvres that every skier has to learn are straight running, the snow plough, the traverse and the side slip. From these, all other ski movements can be built up. For example, if you take the last three together, the traverse, the snow plough and the side slip, you have the basic swing. The course therefore covers the basic straight running, snow plough, traverse and side slip and the swing to the hill the plow swing the basic swing parallel skiing the basic parallel turn the end form parallel turn with stick and short swings. Here, candidates are practicing short swings. The first skier is not doing short swings. He is in fact doing short radius parallel turns. The second skier is attempting reasonable short swings, but there's much too much arm movement with loss of coordination. And the last one hasn't got enough edge set and rebound. In this group coming down, the emphasis is on the rhythm and leg play, but we can see some who are losing it with very obvious results. Once again, the emphasis is on edge set and rhythm. Four trainers skiing down the White Lady demonstrate mogul skiing using compression turns in which the compression and extension of the legs work like shock absorbers to maintain constant snow ski contact. The essence of the technique is to smooth out the bumps and hollows by retracting, turning and extending the legs to maintain constant contact. When you look at an individual turn, you can see the difference on the turns that we've seen up to now. In this compression turn, the unweighting is down whereas in the normal turn, it's up. Straight running through the bumps is the first part of the training for compression turns. This gets the pupil used to the feel of compression and extension of the legs, while maintaining the ski-snow contact and keeping the body travelling in a straight line. Acrobatic skiing is fun skiing. Freestyle champions are here demonstrating reverse tip rolls, tip drags, leg breakers, back crossovers, and hops into the fall line. A double single ski 360, ending with a head flip.
Well, this gives you an idea of the background of the instructor who wears this badge. If you're in his class, you'll know you're in good hands.